Excellencies, dear colleagues, friends, uh, thank you for participating in this solemn uh, ceremony. We have just observed a minute of silence for our uh, fallen colleagues. The International Day of UN Peacekeepers is an occasion to celebrate the invaluable contributions they make throughout the world. But it is also a day on which we mourn the heroes among them who have died in the service of a peace. Sadly, I have attended many such wreath-laying ceremonies, from Lebanon to the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Each time, I am overwhelmed by the loss and awed by the dedication of our fallen comrades. Last year, more United Nations peacekeepers were deployed than ever before. This reflects the world's confidence in the UN's flagship security operations and its great expectations for our success. But the United Nations also reached another terrible milestone last year, the highest number of fatalities in the history of UN peacekeeping. 132 brave individuals lost their lives in 2008. Some fell victim to, to violence, others to accidents, still others to a disease. Some came from countries far away, and others worked proudly as national staff. But all of them shared the belief in the value of serving the greater good and the willingness to sacrifice their own safety for this cause. I'm sure that some of you here, lost, here today lost friends and colleagues last year. I offer my most sincere condolences. The legacy of these men and women lives on. It lives on what they did for the people of countries in which they served. It lives on the example they set for all of us as a talented, dedicated professionals. The best tribute we can pay them is to solidify the progress they fought and died for and to continue their work until we have achieved lasting peace where once there was war. Let us also draw inspirations from their lives and let us preserve their memory in our hearts. Thank you very much.